Ray D, baby. Been hunting this bear all week. I grunted at him. He come running back in. We just smoked another giant. Just an absolute giant. Lifetime bull for me. Team 200 is presented by Moon Guide. Plan your best hunt. Joe Miles is an absolute hunting machine. It doesn't matter what he's after or where he's got to go, you can guarantee one thing, wherever Joe's at, he's going to be going after a giant. The one thing that sets Joe off from the rest of us is he drives a thousand miles to do it. He doesn't walk out his back door like the rest of us and hunt. He drives halfway across the country and when he gets there, he figures the animal out and he kills him. But he lives in South Carolina. Oh, he travels thousands of miles to try to hunt these giant Midwest deer. And the thing is, he's successful at it. I think Joe is just one of those guys that's really committed to hunting big bucks. And it seems like he's been knocking them down for many years. And it's not by accident. It's, it's because he really commits and travels and puts his time in to hunt these giant whitetails. It doesn't matter what corner of the world that Joe's hunting in or what situation shows up. I know that Joe's gonna be prepared mentally and physically, more so than anybody I've ever met. I don't know a lot about Joe, but one thing I do know about him, he's always off to these exotic places. I mean, this guy travels all over the world. It's dangerous locations, but he'll go there in a quest for an Ibex. The king is dead, baby! Holy moly! My best memory of Joe Miles hunting is him actually showing up in Kansas, and I literally said, hey, walk a quarter mile down that hill, get in that timber and throw up a stand, not giving him a lot of direction. So he goes down there, throws his setup, and next thing you know, the next morning, his first morning in Kansas, he's already tagging out. First morning in Kansas, just shot a great buck. Holy moly, what a morning, golly. I like hunting in my home state of South Carolina, but I really love traveling out to the Midwest to hunt. And when you travel to hunt, it, it's a lot more difficult. I mean, the biggest thing is the time factor. There he is, guys. Laying right there. It's not like hunting in your backyard where just zip out during the weekend to check trail cameras or, or see what's going on, you have to commit to a block of time to travel out of state. It's beautiful, man. Wow. My big thing is to make three trips a year during the off season. I go out there and see how the deer are traveling, and then I'll go back again in July or August, set up my trail cameras, have everything running, and then I'll go back in October, pull all my cameras, get an inventory of what I've got, hunt from the end of October until kind of middle of November or, or until I have to get back. But it makes it very, very challenging that you can get out there and hunt, and that's part of it. If you live in the southeast, that's a hurdle you've got to step over because you do only have a limited amount of time to hunt out there. I can't believe it. We've got a giant deer on the ground. By far the biggest buck I've ever killed. And I had his onyx pointed. He didn't pick up anything. Gave me a 30 yard shot. Thank God I have an Ozonix. Start seeing more deer more often and closer than you ever thought possible with Ozonix. Ozonix is the only product that actively and continually attacks game spooking odor in the downwind airstream during your entire hunt, allowing you to beat an animal's number one defense, its nose. 
Joe Miles has successfully killed three giant whitetails off the 29-acre lease in Illinois, all while traveling from his home state of South Carolina. The first year, he shot a 164, the second year, a 186, and the third year, a 183. You know, one of the biggest challenges in bow hunting big whitetails is being consistently successful on big deer out of state like Joe does and to be able to travel you know from South Carolina to Illinois every year and to put a giant on the ground definitely not an easy thing to do. The 29 acres I get a lot of uh, questions about that you know how do you commit to such a small track of land how'd you find it um, what makes it so good? That's really my go-to property in Illinois. And, and just a little history about that. The first year in there, we set up some trail cameras and got a picture of this, this big deer called, we called him Big Lefty because his left side is all messed up. And we got four or five trail camera pictures of him and that was gonna be the deer I went after this year. And so I left Oct Halloween, October 31st and drove out to Illinois. Uh, we already had the stands hung. The first morning I went in there and hunted, I think I saw 15 different deer. Got back in there at 2.30, and at four o'clock, back behind me, I heard a deer walking, and I turned around, and it was him. He came down to the creek and took a big drink of water. After he got his drink, he, he milled around in the creek for a little while. And then he came up on the little sandbar and just gave me a perfect shot. That one will do just fine. Oh my gosh. 29 acres. Illinois, November 2nd. I just drilled him. We've learned over time that these are really the little killing properties. When you can find a property like this in these rural uh, towns that feed out to these big agriculture belts and, and the deer are a little bit more used to people I mean you can get in there and really kill them and, and we've had great success in there for three years in a row. Oh man look at the blood. Great. There he is. He didn't go 60 yards. Ha <laughs> ha what a dadgum freak. Great day. Look at the mass on that right side main beam. Big blade, God, what a buck. He came down that hill to get a drink of water and was up on his feet early. I shot him at, I don't know, 4.30, 4.45. Man, he came down that hill, looked up kind of there at us one time, and finally stepped in that teeny little hole. And I shot him, and my goodness, he didn't go 60 yards. God, he got moving early. It's the time of the year, November 2nd, Illinois. This is a fine one, and it was a fine hunt. Coming up next, Joe Miles returns to the 29 acres for year number two and goes after a big non-typical right here on Team 200. Raw frozen scents are same season fresh. Working with reproduction veterinarians, Raw has developed a synchronization process that allows them to bring white-tailed deer into heat any time of the year. While other competitors' products may sit on the shelf up to a year before being purchased, raw estrus urine is collected just prior to hunting season, so your scent is same season fresh. Immediately after the collection process, raw scents are quickly frozen, then shipped directly to you in an insulated cooler so you get it raw, fresh, and pure. 
Raw frozen scents are always fresh. No water or preservatives added with a 100% money back guarantee. I'm back in here in that 29 acre track right here in town. It's that little CRP field sanctuary. I shot a real good buck in here last year and we got a giant on, on trail camera on a cutty back and uh, he's been showing up at night but it's that time of year. Hopefully he'll get on his feet and we've got about 10 days to hunt here so we're going to stick with it. The weather's a, you know pretty good today. It's not real cold but uh, you know high pressure's in so we'll see what happens. Four thirty in the afternoon, I look out in the CRP, and he just stands up. Well, I snort wheezed at him, and he starts making his way through that CRP, and and I can't believe it. It's game on. It looks like he's going to go up one of these hardwood ridges and kind of away from me. So I snort wheezed again. A big deer's not really going to make a mistake and he's not afraid to stand in one spot and figure things out. So he finally commits and starts coming to me, but he turns and gets into this real thick stuff where I can't see him. And I turned the camera where I thought he was gonna walk and drew my bow, but he was moving so fast that he walked right out of the frame of the camera and there was absolutely no way I was gonna let a deer of this caliber get away from me. You know, I wasn't gonna let that deer get out of there because that was my one shot at him. I'd gotten a lot of footage of him and he came into range, gave me a good shot. I took the shot, got the camera right back on him, and that's part of it. You know, that's part of the deal of solo cam filming and trying to hunt these big deer. Killed him. I got him. Got him. Lots of Boone and Crockett, baby. That is a Boone and Crockett. That is a Boone and Crockett book. Oh, I just got him. <laughs> oh man, I got him. I didn't get the shot. I couldn't. He walked in quick and uh, filming it by myself. He came right in fast and I did the best I could with the camera, but I didn't get the kill shot. But man, he walked right in and I was already at full draw and he walked a little faster than I thought. But We saw him go down right over here. Gonna go get the air and go pick him up. I can't wait. He is an absolute giant. Come on, let's check him out. The big bloody spear. Ooh, nasty. That always makes you feel good inside when you see one like that. Holy moly. Golly, man. I don't know what to say. This is something else. I mean, I think he's definitely going to go north of 170. And um, I don't know. He's just, I'm, I'm a little bit speechless, which is a little bit weird for me because normally I can talk your ears off. For over two decades, the Moon Guide has been the number one rated tool for serious hunters, telling you when giant whitetails will move and where you need to hunt. Now, you can accurately predict the best days and times to catch a big buck moving during daylight with the Deer Hunter's Moon Guide. Are you tired of hunting nocturnal trail camera bucks? Do you ever wonder why some bucks only show up during daylight on certain days each year? The Deer Hunter's Moon Guide is here to help, and it's unlike any other lunar tool you've ever seen. For effective preseason scouting, scheduling time off work, planning out-of-state hunts, and increasing your overall hunting success, simply check the Moon Guide's calendar to find the best days, times, and hunting locations to catch a mature deer on his feet during daylight hours. The Moon Guide is now available as a mobile app too, giving you exclusive tips from the pros, local weather, the rut guide, exclusive discounts, and the deadly red moon data. Plan your best hunt at moonguide.com. Year number three on the 29-acre track. 
you know, it's this this is just one of those magical tracks that it seems like every year a really big deer gets in there. You know, year number one, a 163, really funky, non-typical we call big lefty. Year number two, the 186 with a bunch of kickers and just an awesome, awesome deer. Year number three, once again, a big deer's moved in there, a deer we call the chub buck. He's got a big point coming off the front, kind of almost like a unicorn. So the first afternoon in, get set up. It was kind of slow that afternoon, and you know, I've got about an hour left of, of daylight, and I'm looking out in this cattle pasture, and there's a about a 150-inch deer kind of dogging a doe around. I'm actually looking at this deer through the viewfinder, and I can see him starting to get a little bit nervous, and then into the viewfinder walks the chub buck. I really didn't think it was going to happen that afternoon because I had about, by now, I had about 45 minutes left of daylight. He gets to about 80 yards and he locks up. As luck would have it, I was able to get one soft runoff, I and mean, that's all it took. Got him. Got him. <laughs> How about that, baby? That is the same tree, another giant. He was quartering to me slightly, um, but I hit, put it right in there, right in the wheelhouse. God, he is a giant Boone and Crockett. Heck of a buck. Last night we followed the blood for about Got 150 him. yards and he did a U-turn and we were scared to death that I may have hit him a little bit too high. And we were just walking in here to start the blood and he's laying right over there on the bank dead. Hadn't even walked up to him yet. Let's go check him out. I am so excited. I cannot believe we found him that quick. He's laying right there dead. Oh boy. God. Look at the size of this buck. Oh. My. Gosh. Oh my gosh. This is the deer we were after this year. We're on our 29 acre lease in Illinois that Mark Beck turned us on to. Just an incredible buck. Hit him quarter and two as you saw in the video. And we, we followed blood for about 100 yards last night and got out of here. And I uh, came out this morning and Mark spotted him laying right over here. Absolute giant, well into Boone and Crockett. And just the deer, that we wanted to kill. And anytime you can target a buck and get in and kill him, that's what we like to do. You know, we, we say it all the time, rather have the right five acres than the wrong 5,000. And I think this place right here, little 29 acre track in the right spot proves that. I mean, it's an incredible place. And every year, if a big one gets in here, you can kill him. 